Hello, my name is Will Carmack. In today's After Effects tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create the metallic and red Marvel Studios logo in Element 3D. I'll show it to you here. You have a camera panning backwards as Studios slowly rotates and uh, the camera reveals the metallic Marvel Studios. Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that in Element 3D, but with your name or whatever you want to market stealing Marvel's IP. <laughs> oh, and before we get into the Marvel y goodness, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. In After Effects, um, we're just gonna create our own mock up of the Marvel Studio logo first. So, what we'll do is I'll create a uh, shape layer, make sure the stroke is zero, and I'll create it kind of like this. Um, I'm constantly like looking at this Marvel Studio logo as like a reference. So, yeah, we want it to be very rectangular. That looks good. And then we'll grab our type tool and type in whatever we want. For me, my name is, that's right, Will. Um, we will grab our shape layer or our text layer, whichever, uh, to accommodate the space we want filled. I'm gonna move the anchor point of my shape to the middle of this. So, all right, that looks good. And just so you guys know, the font for Marvel is called Benton Sands. I don't know exactly which version of Benton Sands, but I've been using Benton Sands Extra Comp Black. I'll link it down below. All right, we have that right there. And what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna put the shape layer on top of Will, and we're gonna grab the track mat pick whip and drag that on top of Will. Um, and what we're doing is creating uh, an alpha mat and we're going to invert it. So now we have this red box where Will is. And we are going to take both of these objects, right click and pre-compose. Will box is what I'm gonna call it. Amazing. Um, and what we're gonna do is come to layer and auto trace, which is turning this text and shape layer into basically a PNG. So now we have this beautiful PNG um, of just Will. We will ignore that and do the exact same process for the word studios. We'll grab our type tool and type in studios. But if we look at the Marvel logo, studios is actually a much smaller font and I've discovered it's Benton's Sans Medium. Bam. Well, it's one of the mediums. Oh yes, Benton Sans Extra Comp Medium. Um, I will kern this to be a little more like tight. I will select the studios layer and scale it up. Put it right there, okay. And then what we're gonna do is come up to our shape layer again, and we're gonna create two tiny little bars that we're gonna turn into those metal um, bars at the top of studios. Um, to make sure it's accurate, come up to view and do show rulers. And when you click on show rulers, you can bring down this blue line to make sure that your red bar is accurate in matching the top and the bottom of that red solid. So I'm gonna duplicate my shape layer and bring it down to the very bottom here. And then I'm just gonna make sure that Studios is in the middle. Ugh, this is looking gorgeous. I actually need to make Studios bigger after referencing the logo again. All right, and so now what we're gonna do is take all of these three objects, right click and hit pre-compose. And we're gonna name this Studios um, and come up to layer and we're gonna hit auto trace. I'm gonna hit okay. So now I basically have a PNG image of just basically this thing, Studios. We're auto tracing these because Element 3D can only make something 3D if, you, if it thinks it's like a mask image. It'll make sense in a second. So we're gonna create a new solid that we're gonna put Element 3D on, Element. Um, we'll come up to the Effects and Presets panel and type in Element and throw that on top of our black solid. And where we see custom layers, this is mega important. Bring that down um, and under custom text and mask, let's set, um, let's set path layer one to will box and path layer two to studios. So we're basically making element 3D reference these two layers. So yes, add these two things to path layer one and two and custom mask. 
and let's go to scene setup. This part is really satisfying, so get excited. So let's hit extrude and bam, here is our wheel box. So this is fantastic. We'll go to presets to make it that metallic look. Uh, I have Pro Shaders, which is an Element 3D uh, installer, and I like Clean Metal Brushed. Oh no, I don't, I like this one. Ah. So Clean Metal Brush, pick a texture that you like. So you have that nice metal, and, and if you look, you can make the metal let me make this bigger. You can make the metal stand out more by, um, in this panel right here, drop down extrusion model and click on your material. And under the setting down here that says normal bump, let's click on that. What that does is it allows you to raise the bumps of your metal. So if we look at the panel here, our metal is becoming more metally. Love that. Hit OK. And now we've got our beautiful Will Marvel logo. Okay, so this is super important. We are gonna duplicate our extrusion model and we are gonna come down to custom path and change it to custom path two. Um, and since we set studios to custom path two, it's gonna change that into our studios here. Zoo. Bam. So now we both have these extrusion models and they are both our respective auto traced images. <sighs> If we hit OK, we can now see what we've created. We can actually get rid of our, our two layers here. And what we want to do is come up to Layer, New, and Camera. Hit OK. Um, I'm going to go to Two Views. So at the top here, if you switch this to Top Angle, you can see your 3D model in the middle here and your camera. So once you do this, you can grab your camera and then move around your seat. So once you have these two angles, you can grab the top down on your camera. You can actually fly around the scene and look at your 3D model. Super fun stuff. So now we're going to create that iconic red background. So let's go back to Element. Scene setup, and this is super important. For us to be able to rotate studios independently of will, we need to put these in two different group folders. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click and create new group folder. And I'm gonna set this to number two. And I'm gonna take this extrusion model, the will, and I'm gonna put it in group folder two. So now these are essentially on two separate layers. And then I'm actually gonna add one more group folder, name this number three, and I'm gonna create create a plane. This is going to be the iconic red background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it to face cam, grab the scale tool and make it giant. I mean, absolutely massive. And I'm going to, I'm going to actually leave the default texture, but I'm going to drop down the model and select on it and just change the color of it, the diffuse color to red. Okay. And so if I hit okay here, bam, the red plane shows up along with all of our other thingies. This is fun, um, but what I don't necessarily like is that the red background is like stuck glued to the Marvel Studio logo. I kind of want it to look like there's a little bit of space in between the logo and the background. So what we're going to do is click on Element. And remember, we've selected all of these individual layers into our groups. So we're going to click on Group 3, which is our plane, and under Particle Look, just kidding, under Particle Replicator, I'm gonna make the Z position and move it further away from the camera. So now if I move the camera, you can see that it's no longer attached to the side. If I click on Element again and crank the position, you can see what I'm doing. Like I can bring this wall to be past um, the logo or I can bring it to be behind and I'm choosing to bring it far behind. Let's go to our camera and hit reset, move it to where we want. Ah, gorgeous. And now what we wanna do is create a light so we have like that cinematic black vignette that goes around it so we'll go to layer new and light we're gonna create a um, spotlight which imagine a spotlight that's exactly what it is I'll hit ok all right you can see immediately what it's doing I in the top-down angle I am moving this light around and it's just because these are all 3d models we can create like environmental lighting like this and it's affecting everything so this basically allows us to do anything dramatic um, if we drop down the settings on spotlight under light options, we can change the angle of the cone to make it more of a spotlight or not. So I'll crank the spotlight up to get just enough um, of a nice vignette. So I can move the light around in 3D space to find like a spot I really like. Like right there is really cool. Amazing. All right. And now all we've got to do is like animate the camera and the text logo. So what we're going to do is move our camera to where we want it to end. 
maybe like right here. And then I'll hit P on the camera and lock in the position. Bam, keyframe. And I'll go to the very beginning of the frame. Um, and I'm gonna do something crazy here. On this top down angle, I'm gonna switch it to left. Um, and from this vantage point, you can actually click and drag on the camera to make it like look upside down. So I can bring it to this angle here and grab the top position to like angle it down. Cause you see in the actual Marvel logo, it like rotates from the bottom. Let's watch that back. Mm, I could probably start a little higher. Ugh. All right, do you see how the camera movement is working? So we're panning down and pulling out from the logo. I'm just gonna finesse and fine tune this camera position. And I will also animate the camera's X rotation. Um, this will basically, if you start the X rotation pointing way up, it'll have this nice like pan down effect. With enough finessing and fine tuning, you can get like a camera motion that looks kind of like this. Ooh, super fun, super amazing. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the studios rotate. So as it's coming back, we're seeing the super fun reveal of studios rotating. So remember, we put studios in group number two. So if we go to particle look under group two, Oh, I lied to you. Group two was my will box. So under group one, under um, particle look, we have our rotation keyframes, I think. Oh, under particle replicator, we have our rotation keyframes. So by right here, let's create a rotation keyframe for X. And X is the, um, you see right here what I'm doing? I'm like flipping it around. That's the X rotation. So we're gonna create a keyframe right here where we want it to land and at the beginning right here, here, I'll go back to one view. We are gonna crank the X rotation up like this. So as we go backwards, let's watch that. We have the studio's logo rotating in. God, that's so awesome. And then bam, we have this really amazing animation that could be you or anyone's name. Dun, 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 dun. And of course, um, we can make this more epic by animating the spotlight. Like for example, you can animate the position of it and look like a bunch of stuff happens. Um, the way I animated mine was to like rotate in from the bottom. This is the one that I made earlier. Oh. See, look how the light over time is actually creating a vignette. If I, if we look at the keyframes on my light, I'm animating a lot here. The rotation, the point of interest, the cone angle. Like for example, over time, under your light options on spotlight, you can create the cone angle to be a big vignette and create a keyframe where you like it. And then at the start, make the cone angle really wide. So over time, the cone angle is creating this like really nice vignette for you. And I'll put these two keyframes at the beginning and the end of this. So it starts bright like, oh, but then over time you see these edges start to get dark. I need to bring this in way sooner and also move the angle of my light to be more centered. That looks nice. And we can also play around with a cone feather. Bam, that looks great. So now when we watch it back, we have this amazing Marvel Studios rotation intro. And I'll delete my keyframes on the camera and we can do something fun with it. Like as it's rotating, you can create a position keyframe and move it like just right here. And over time, have the camera move just like past the logo. So as it's rotating, you can get like your own custom angle. <laughs> Okay, okay, I've been messing around too much, but you guys get the point. Here we go, the Marvel Studio logo, and now you know how to make it yourself. Honestly, the biggest thing is just like creating those auto-traced layers and selecting them in your custom paths. All right, that is how you make your own custom Marvel Studio intro. In case you guys didn't know, I'm creating an entire WCU, which is rivaling the MCU over on Instagram and TikTok. So follow me over there. That's why I'm teaching myself all these Marvel tricks so I can teach you guys. I hope you liked this tutorial, enjoyed yourself. And now we have to thank today's amazing sponsor, Squarespace. From online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform. Let's say you're a photographer and you wanna show your work to the world so you can get hired. Well, Squarespace's portfolio and gallery section lets you do just that. They have award-winning designer templates that you can upload your photography right into. And so when people come to your website, your work will be professionally displayed to everybody who sees. 
Next, let's say you're like a business-minded freak. Kidding, kidding. Business people aren't freaks. Well, Squarespace has amazing analytics that lets you know all of your traffic sources, where they're spending money, how much, where, when, why. There's a chart and a number and a graph for everything. So good a dummy like me can read and understand them. So imagine like how you can take over the world if you're actually a smart person. I'm doing a bad job at saying that Squarespace has amazing analytics. And of course, they have great connected services options. You can embed your Instagram, your SoundCloud, your YouTube straight into your website. So when people come to your website, they can follow you on all of your social platforms. So get Squarespace to cross pollinate, to promote yourself. Best part is guys, I got you hooked up with a discount code. So if you go to squarespace.com slash Will Carmack, you'll get 10% off your first website or domain. So check out the website, sign up with Squarespace. And guys, don't forget, where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will and have a nice day.